All right, check out this uh, picture right here in from social media and specifically this is Wendy Spencer. Uh, this is very close to Mail High School right around the Waterson and 65. Uh, the wind again hasn't been terribly strong. We've seen some higher gusts up to 30, 35 miles an hour, at least in a few spots. Uh, but you know what? Uh, with the saturated ground from just about two and a half inches of rain, yeah, that can happen right there. That tree knocked over, it looks like, in the front yard. So uh, a little bit of tree damage going on with some saturated ground and again, some of that Gusty wind activity from the remnants of Harvey moving through. Let's talk about the rainfall tallies once more. This is updated just within the past five minutes or so. And you can see, yeah, our southern communities anywhere from four, five, locally six inches of rain. Campbellsville about five now, four and a quarter Greensburg, and then five and a quarter Hodgenville as you travel off to the north. How about E-Town and Bardstown nearing three and a half inches each? Each, that is. Uh, we're about 2.4 officially in the metro. And as you go farther off to the north, still a little bit lighter, less than an inch, our far west and northwestern communities. But it continues to come down. Live look outside right now from our tower cam back towards downtown Louisville. Skies not so pretty on this Friday late afternoon, early evening. Rain continues to fall with the low overcast, the gusty conditions. 62 was the high during the day today. 59 has been our low. And again, 2.39 inches of rain officially in town. And that continues to go up and will be going up for the better part of this night. Right now, we're talking about mid and upper 50s. We're now down to 58. How about that? Humidity 93%. We have a north breeze in here at 17, but it is gusting a little bit higher. Okay. Radar scans still picking up light to at times moderate rainfall, even a couple of pockets of heavier rain as denoted by some of the yellow across southern portions of Jefferson County, northern Bullitt County into Harrison, as well as Shelby. And this stuff just continues to kind of rotate around, not really going anywhere. So really what you see is what you're going to get as far as rain is concerned as we roll through the night. Future clouds and radar denote that nicely. Here is tomorrow morning. Notice how we start to get rid of some of those greens. By midday, I think we're pretty much done with the rain, although we will stay mainly cloudy tomorrow afternoon. At least we'll start to dry out. So again, rain chances diminishing bright and early tomorrow morning and then just trending drier through the day. Afternoon highs still cool with 60s to near 70 on your Saturday. But then big time improvements for Sunday and Labor Day as the sunshine returns and that'll boost us back into the 80s as we round out the long holiday weekend on a very nice note weather wise. Here's the forecast in detail. Next few hours, rainy and cool. Some of that rain could be locally heavy as we'll be in the upper 50s to near 60. 59, 10 o'clock tonight, the rain continues. Still some leftover showers tomorrow morning. Those will be diminishing through the morning hours, then generally cloudy skies midday through the afternoon. High temperatures cool in the upper 60s to near 70. The sunshine breaks out again in full force for Sunday Labor Day with highs back in the 80s, even upper 80s on Labor Day. So a good day to check out the pools.